Hi everybody, this is Pat, your team co-captain for Team ALCLholics, and this video is a nutrition guide. So, here we go. Um, now, I am a second year veteran for AIDS Life Cycle, um, but beyond the scope of cycling, I have experience in working out at CrossFit and also doing um, an endurance run like the Spartan Race. Um, so, I have a little bit of experience of doing these things and surviving them. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on this topic. Um, now, as you know, we all love to go cycling. We love to train. We love to have a good time. And we get lost in all the beautiful views and the wonderful people that we ride with. However, um, we tend to forget about one important aspect sometimes, and that's nutrition. Um, and why is nutrition so important to riding? Well, nutrition is important because during extensive periods of physical activity, your glucose levels become depleted and dehydration sets in. So optimal nutrition is essential towards having a successful ride. And failure to meet those needs will result in bonking and our dehydration. Um, so basically nutrition matters, right? Kind of true. Um, and you'll hear a lot of people talking about the topic of bonking and dehydration. So let's go ahead and go into a little bit of detail of what each of those are. Um, bonking or hitting the wall as some people call it is, well, the condition of sudden fatigue and loss of energy, which is caused by depletion of glycogen stores in the liver and muscles. Um, some symptoms that occur during bonking is nausea, lightheadedness, blurred vision, headaches, poor coordination, weak legs, shaking, feeling very hungry, and my personal favorites, feeling anxious, irritable, confused, and emotional. So much fun. Love them, right? Yeah, not really. So that is what bonking is. Now, um, let's go into dehydration, which we all know is what happens when your body doesn't have as much water as it needs. Um, mild symptoms that occur during that is, you know, having a dry, sticky mouth, you're not urinating, or if you are urinating, uh, it's kind of dark, which is not cool. You have dry or cool skin. You maybe experience a headache or a couple of muscle cramps. And if you continue to not, de you know, hydrate well, you'll go into more severe symptoms like you're not peeing at all, your skin's extremely dry, you're feeling dizzy, your heart's beating rapidly, your breathing pattern is also rapid, sunken eyes, starting to feel sleepy, and faintness, which is never really good at all. Now, what do you do if one or the other happens? Well, first thing you should do is definitely pull over as soon as possible to the side of the road. Um, because safety first, um, you don't want to have put yourself in a dangerous situation where you may collapse while you're riding. And you put yourself and others in danger. So that's not cool, right? So if you do feel those symptoms coming on, just pull over as soon as possible. Next thing you should do, especially during a training ride or during the week of the ride, is you want to signal thumbs down. That'll let everybody around you know that something's wrong and that you need help. So, and people will come to you as soon as you do that. So be sure to be aware of that. Um, and then next thing you should do is definitely focus on um, eating and drinking simple carbs immediately, um, especially if you're bonking because you need um, sugar into your system to help get you back to where you're at. And then if you are hydrating, you definitely want to do it slowly. You don't want to upset your stomach. Um, so make sure you just take it easy on yourself. And then last but not least, uh, recovery, recovery, recovery. Um, you know, sit down for at least 15 to 30 minutes if you're feeling bonking symptoms coming on. Um, at that time, you're already out of commission, dude. So uh, you are no longer fit to ride and you just gotta take it easy on yourself. Um, that is basically your focus right there. And if you're close by, you know, make sure you have somebody with you to walk you back to your place. Or if you're not close by, make sure you know you find somebody to pick you up and actually drive you home because safety first. So there you go. And here at Eight Slice Cycle, we have a little motto that is basically saying, eat before you feel hungry and drink before you feel thirsty. And you'll hear that quite often throughout your process here. And there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and reroute to what we were talking about before, which is fueling. Um, so what are we gonna do when we fuel? Well, the night before, you definitely want to focus on treating yourself. That's right, um, the night before you wanna Focus on some simple carbs. Enjoy yourself. Have some potatoes. Have some rice. Have some pasta. Hell, 
have a slice of pizza. You know, you are um, going to be riding, you know, 20 plus miles. And that's a lot of miles. You know, that's not normal. You're working hard. So, you know, enjoy yourself the night before and, and treat treat yourself, essentially. All right. So there you go. Now, the day of the ride, there's uh, three components here. So let's start off with the first one, which is the morning of the ride. Um, about 90 minutes to two hours before, you want to focus on eating complex carbs. Now, what are those? Well, essentially, that's oatmeal or other whole grains. Um, you want to add in either fr fruits and veggies as well into that or some lentils. Um, now, the reason why we want to have complex carbs in our system is because those are going to slowly but surely release into your bloodstream throughout the day. So they're kind of like a supplement that help you out during the ride, even though you're eating them in the morning. Um, also, you want to have a multivitamin, which is good because, like I said before, you're going to be burning a buttload of carbs. So you need something else to help replenish um, some of the things that you're going to be missing out as you ride. Um, and then last but not least, have two to three cups of water um, because, you know, hydration is just as important as, um, you know, food. And there you go. All right, so now during the ride, you're going to be focusing on three, uh, well, two to three kind of things here. Um, main things you should be focusing on is keeping your carb stores intact, and you should do that by aiming for 60 carbs an hour. And then you also want to know what's in your bottles, and um, when you are riding, you should have at least two water bottles on your bike and or a hydration pack on your back. Um, that's up to you if you want to do that, but definitely have either two water bottles or the hydration pack. So there you go. And we'll go into detail about what we mean by know what's in your bottles too. Um, so let's first talk about carbs. So like I said, aim for 60 carbs an hour. Um, good examples of that would be fruits like bananas and oranges, uh, pastries, you know, you'll find those often at like a rest stop, like with like, you know, a coffee shop. And then um, on your bike, when you have like your little pack there, you should definitely have some gels and chews and RX bars um, store it in there just in case you need to pull over and grab something quick on hand so there you go all right and here's a few examples of each you know pastries these are some chews right here and some fruit so there you go all right now hydration um while you're riding you want to aim to drink about a cup every 15 minutes with a little bit of sodium a good example of that would be adding in some noons right here that you see onto the side there they're like electrolyte tablets and to your water bottles and um, but you might want to bear in mind that one of your bottles should probably be filled with a liquid carb because um, noon and water is not a good source of energy. So what I mean by liquid carb is, you know, one of your bottles should be filled with Gatorade. Um, but if you don't like Gatorade or if you prefer something else, you can also um, have a water bottle diluted with a little bit of water and fruit juice. So that's another option as well for you. Um, so there you go. All right. So like I said, during the ride, make sure you make up mix up your liquid and solid carbs throughout the day and if we get into warmer weather where it's really hot like day three when we ride into bradley um you want to focus on drinking a little bit more and if we're in cooler weather you want to eat a little bit more but basically you know make sure you maintain a good balance of your liquid and solid carbs and you'll be good to go all right now last but not least let's come to the post ride so you finish you know riding 20 30 40 50 60 miles and well everything hurts and you're dying lovely right uh you want to incorporate some protein when you get home so aim for 10 to 20 grams a good example of that would be this lovely thing called an rx bar which i love to chew on so much because they're delicious they're yummy and they're also kind of healthy um and then you also want to incorporate some carbohydrates so when you get home have that protein and then add in about you know, you want to aim for about half of your body weight. So if you weigh 160 pounds, you're going to aim for 80 grams of carbs. And that'll help you out a little bit once you get home. And then you want to repeat this again in two hours. Now, the reason why you want to do this is because it's going to help maintain your mood. Um, good example of, 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 of what happens when you don't do this is uh, last week, I was supposed to meet a friend for dinner, but they flaked out on me and I had not eaten anything at all. When, when I did a 50 mile ride and I was really pissed off. I mean, abnormally pissed off. I was like clapping my hands pissed off. Um, so, uh, and that's because I didn't eat anything. So you definitely want to, you know, <laughs> focus on making sure you have some protein and carbs in your system and repeating that the next two hours. So that way, you know, you maintain a social life and have friends still. So there you go. 
All right, so let's review everything that we went over. Um, optimum nutrition is essential to avoiding bonking and dehydration. If that does happen, pull over immediately, replenish those carbs, and recover, recover, recover. And then during your ride, main focus is to maintain those carb stores and hydrate often as you can. And once you get home, eat some protein, add some carbs immediately post-ride, and then do it again in two hours. So there you go. That is it for this nutrition guide here. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to directly message me and or email me. I'm always available to uh, listen to everybody and take in your notes. And if there's anything else, uh, well, I'll see you around soon on a route. All right. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day, folks. I'll see you around. Bye.